Hi, it's Grace Pike. I'm back with Five Features, and we're back with the home outlet here in Fort Smith. Nathan is going to be talking about why it's important to replace your doors and windows. And make sure to like, share, and comment on this post for a chance to win a $50 gift card. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, this is Nathan again with Home Outlet of Fort Smith. We're coming at you today with a little bit of door and window action. Uh, one thing that uh, most people kind of overlook when they're redoing their house or thinking about doing a, re a remodel is your doors and windows. So for what we're covering today, we're gonna be covering doors and windows. So a lot of things that people overlook are the instant changes to your house from the curb appeal all the way to the resale value. Uh, windows and doors are going to be one of your biggest movers when it comes down to that. So with our doors, another big one is energy saving. So when you put in a new door that we carry, it's going to have an R rating similar to the, the insulation you put in your walls. There's going to be a little bit of heat transfer in the different styles, but we'll cover those. We'll cover what's the best bang for your buck, what's going to look good and the longevity, and what's going to last a little bit longer. Same thing with our windows. Our windows are going to be argon filled for our vinyl windows and our aluminum windows we can get in multiple different colors. So stick with us, we're going to cover everything you need to know. So when we're talking exterior doors, we're going to be looking at three different main materials, wood, fiberglass, and steel. Uh, so one of the first ones we're going to look at here is a wood door. These doors that we carry are going to be 100% solid wood. They are going to be very, they're going to be a little bit heavier than our other two styles of doors. And the price is going to be about in the mid range between the three, the three different materials. Uh, wood is a very good insulator. It's not going to transfer a lot of heat and it's going to look really good on the front of your house. Um, we're going to move on a little bit here to our fiberglass style doors. Now this one has a, a couple side lights to it. So we're kind of going into some different styles here. This has got a good floral type uh, metal inlay on the, on the light in the middle of the window. Same thing on the side lights. Now this one is a fiberglass door. You're gonna see the wood grains in it. And we can get this in a couple of different styles too uh, with the just primed door. So you can paint it or stain it however you want or they come pre-stained like this one. So this is our wood speakeasy door. I carry this in a wood and a fiberglass. Now the biggest two differences in wood and fiberglass, fiberglass is gonna be a little bit more expensive but it's gonna be the most cost effective energy wise it doesn't absorb moisture so you don't have to worry about that and the finish on the door really doesn't fade as quick as say like a wood door or a steel door might so we have two options here this one is the wood version I have a, the darker version in the fiberglass it's a darker stain um, the prices are pretty similar uh, when, when we talk on that the last door that we show up front here is another side light wood door uh, a couple options this one doesn't have any metal inlaying but come and see me, we'll sit down. I've got tons of different um, exterior doors that we can look at and kind of figure out what's gonna look best on the front of your house. So this is an example of one of our unfinished uh, wood doors. This is actually a mahogany door that, as you can see, has not been finished with any stain or anything. And this is a completely custom door. It is eight foot in the middle with an arch at the top. It does come with the transition on the bottom like all of our other exterior doors. But if we carry a wood door in-house that does come with one of the, the pre-applied uh, pre stains on it, we can usually get that same door unfinished like this one. That way you can customize it on your own. So now we're gonna talk about steel exterior doors. This is gonna be the, the type of exterior door that I have the biggest selection in in-house. Uh, basically what I'm talking about is I've got all of these doors in front of you, different styles, different types of doors, whether you want it on the back of the house, front of the house, just depending on what you want, we've got it for you. So all the way from our standard six panel steel door, we kind of move on this direction to our doors where they have windows in them. They're actually called lights. Uh, this is a half light door. This is called a six light door, but it's only a quarter of the door up. Then we kind of move down into some of our other options here. These are more front doors where you have your ornate, you know, on the inside. This one's a half light square, just depending on your style. Now the, our double doors are gonna be shown here. They're gonna be a little bit different than your standard door. These are a little bit shorter. They're not 80 inches tall. The reason that is, is that these are retrofit doors. You know, back in the day, 70s, 80s, everyone had sliding doors. We actually have designed these. When you take that sliding door out, this is gonna plop right into place. 
easy install, ready to go. Now we're gonna talk about uh, interior doors. The biggest difference in the two, we're gonna carry our hollow core. That means that this is gonna be the most cost-effective door that we carry for the inside of the house. When it says hollow core, it's exactly what it means. It's virtually hollow on the inside. So you're not gonna have quite as much noise reduction and uh, heat reduction that you would have on, say, a solid core. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move on a little bit to the solid core. This is a newer style, a lot of people are liking it. It's got an arch top, two panels. So it's a beautiful, beautiful door. It's knotty pine is what we call it, our solid core. And we actually have that in our double doors also. We have this in a double door and in a French door style all in our interior doors. So these are our barn doors. This is gonna be one of the most popular items that we carry in our store. I carry three different styles in-house. I've got the Z-bar like this one, a K-bar door, and the two-panel arch top door just like my other. All right, so now we're gonna move on to windows. So let's kind of dig a little deeper into them. I'm gonna carry two different styles. I'm gonna carry an aluminum window, and I'm gonna carry a vinyl window. So there's a, there's a few differences in them. In my vinyl windows, I'm gonna carry a non-gridded and a gridded, and you'll see there it's got those the, the white grids inside the window. My vinyl's also gonna be argon filled. So now we're gonna kind of step back a little bit and talk about it. Aluminum windows are really good. A lot of people have them. They're gonna sweat a little bit. That's the biggest trade-off there. They're not quite as energy efficient as a vinyl window. Still a great window, uh, but it just has a few options that vinyl windows have that this doesn't. So one cool option that we were kind of talking about just a minute ago is the ease of cleaning. So you can come in here, drop that sash down, clean it off, put it back, and you're good to go. Real quick, real simple, real easy. Now, these are all single hung windows that I carry in stock, so this top one won't move when the bottom one does. But I can order and get in store anything you need, whether it be a casement window, whether it be a double hung window you need matched with gridding, whether it be you know a crank out window for above the kitchen sink, anything you guys need, I can get it. Just come see me and we'll get you squared away. All right, so now we're gonna talk about doorknobs, deadbolts, all that good stuff right now. Uh, one thing that we like to kind of show people when they come in is the differences in our knobs. So at the top, we're gonna have a passage lock set. So what that means, a closet door, a you know, laundry room door, something that doesn't need to be locked, but needs to latch, you can go with the passage lock set. So those are gonna be your cheaper price points. You don't wanna put that on a bedroom or a, say an exterior door, because it's not gonna give you that security that you're looking for. Privacy lock is exactly what it says. You want a little bit of privacy for a bathroom, a bedroom, anything like that. These are locking doorknobs. These have the, the twist lock on the inside of the room, and it's got that hole on the outside, so in case a little kid accidentally locks it on you, you can actually go in and unlock it if you need to. Um, now when we get to the red packaging here, these are our entry locks. So we're gonna have combos with a deadbolt and a handle. We're gonna have just handled uh, doorknobs here. Just depending on what you're looking for, multiple different finishes to go with multiple different doors that we were talking about earlier. I even carry an electric deadbolt up there in the corner. That we have in two colors, the satin nickel and the rub bronze. It's one I actually put on my house the other day. We just got them in. It's a great little lock. Uh, you can actually program it to have a key fob so you don't even have to touch your doorknob when you go in the house. Really cool stuff. So to recap a little bit, updating your doors and your windows is gonna effectively change that curb appeal of your house that you're looking for. And really you wanna change it to your personality, your price point, what you want, what people should expect when they walk into your house. And to me, it's a really good place to splurge a little bit because that's the first thing somebody sees is your front door. So in closing, uh, I'd like to thank you again for staying tuned with us, checking out some things that we have in house here. Again, my name is Nathan. I'm the uh, assistant manager here at Home Outlet of Fort Smith. Again, we're gonna have the guaranteed lowest price here in town. And even if you do come in and tell me, hey, these guys got this price a little bit lower than yours, I will meet it and beat it by 10%. So again, come down and see us. Check us out on our website, homeoutlet.com, and uh, we'll be here all day. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today and learning all about the window and door options here at Home Outlet. 
And don't forget to like, share, and comment your next DIY project to be entered to win that $50 gift card. Thanks for watching.